I had uh, kind of started helping a buddy of mine who had a small tiling company. And then uh, it turned into a buddy of mine was building a house and he was like, hey, can you help me with some painting? And then it turned into a little bit of carpentry, it turned into a little bit of just about everything. And again, at the time, it was something more to do just kind of for fun. Get me out of the house during the day. This is when I was living in Hawaii. So it was either go surfing or go work at my buddy's house. But gee, what are you gonna do? Of course you're gonna go work at your buddy's house. I started as a dishwasher, busboy, waiter, barback, bartender, floor manager, supervisor, assistant GM, GM, director of beverages in a hotel, a huge one. And through it all, I never really anticipated the day was gonna come when my industry was just going to stop. There are so many people looking for different things that I've, my, my work ratio went from 80% restaurant, 20% construction to 70, 30, 60, 40, and got kind of pretty close to 50, 50 when the restaurant plug got completely pulled due to COVID. That's every restaurant worker's problem right now. They're not making enough money because they can't have enough people in the restaurant. You know, this is the owners, it's the servers, it's the bussers who don't have positions anymore. It's dishwashers who aren't necessary because they're not washing enough dishes. Some places went to plastic. And everybody else, again, is collecting unemployment. They, uh, this is an expensive area to live in. Our unemployment is a little higher than everybody else's, thank God, but it's still, it's, it's just not enough, you know? So, it is, Never too early to start a side hustle because you never know when you're going to need it. And um, it should be something you're at least something you can find passion in because at the end of the day, it's not going to be something you're going to want to do unless it's something you really like to do. This is my soapbox. <laughs>